What's going on YouTube? It's uh, Drew, Lefty NDB10. Uh, feels weird to be on this side of the camera. So um, this is something that I've been meaning to do for a long time. And um, just so much other stuff going on that uh, I've been lazy on it, but I'm finally gonna sit down and uh, do a weekly video series, something that uh, I'm gonna hold myself <laughs> to. So. I need lots of comments and encouragement down below to keep this up. But what I wanted um, to really talk about is just go through um, from kind of scratch the T206 set. It is really my collecting passion and something that I have devoted 99% of my um, hobby funds into. Absolutely um, so glad I made the jump really from modern to vintage several years ago and um, my collection has just really evolved um, and a lot of it goes uh, to the help of some key people, um, some great hobby friends, tons of resources that I wish I had found earlier. So uh, if you're interested in T206, I hope that this video series helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, again, one of my main purposes from this is to get a lot of participation. So. Uh, drop a lot of comments. I will respond to every single one, I promise. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be a brief overview of the T206 set. So episode one, uh, a brief overview. Uh, the T206 set was uh, released by the ATC, the American Tobacco Company, from 1909 to 1911. So a span of three years. Um, they came in three different series, the 150 series, 350 subject series, and then the 350 to 460 subject series. So uh, 16 tobacco brands participated in the uh, release. Primarily, uh, in the beginning was Piedmont Sweet Capital, Old Mill, Sovereign, Hindu, the list goes on and on and on. Um, but the set's popularity uh, really just took off. Uh, there are many articles of young boys chasing down smokers on the street to get uh, pictures of their, their ball card men. Um, and just the menace that that really created uh, really birthed uh, the hobby as we know it. That was kind of the start. So not the first baseball card uh, set really ever made, but really the first mainstream. So I've got some notes. Um, obviously issued in three different series, as I previously said. 524 total cards. However, uh, as we'll get on later, uh, most people consider 520 a complete set. There are four cards that are monetarily unattainable for the most part, um, not that scarce. If you think in terms of um, today's hobby where there's, you know, a one of one of 100 different one of ones of every player and every set and pro uh, product, it seems, um, the big four. So 524 cards, 520 cards is considered a complete set uh, by most collectors. They measure uh, one and seven sixteenths by two and five eighths. So much, much smaller than your average uh, baseball card that you know today, but this is what we call standard tobacco size. Really set the tone for sets to come after that. Um, all pretty uniform. The moniker T206, uh, we owe that to fame collector Jefferson Burdick. Uh, and he published that in uh, his book, The American Card Catalog, in 1939. And if you don't know Jefferson Burdick, um, the Burdick Art Museum, I believe up in New York City, has his collection on display. He is pretty much the father of uh, sports card collecting. Um, it is a landmark hobby set, like I said. Um, a million different ways to collect it, whether you are chasing what we call the monster, the T206 set, the 520. Um, you collect teams. There are tons of teams to collect. Some people collect the portraits only. Some people collect the uh, action poses only. There's Southern Leaguers, um, endless, endless stuff, and I don't want to ramble uh, any further, but um, again, this is episode one, uh, just a brief overview uh, about the set that I love, and uh, I hope that if a uh, few of you are interested in learning more that you'll tune in. I'd love some feedback down below. Um, the next episodes are going to be much more uh, intuitive and focus on a few issues, so uh, that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next time. Peace out.